My name is Patrick Ambrosio. I am the treasurer to the Department of Defense Federal Globe or DOD Fed Globe, and I'm also one of its founding members along with the executive director, Lisa Cove. I have been very fortunate to have not just been nominated, but also have been selected to receive the award, which is called the Phil M BID or Phil M Bid Award. The Phil M Bid is a business improvement development organization here for the Philippine American community in the state of California. And also they do a small group that is also throughout different areas of the United States. Wow. I now also will be a part of the selection of the new group that will be selecting the next year's candidates. So it's a review of not just the organization, but people who have also received the awards, then select the person who gets the award this year. That's one of the processes for the award. And I've been very fortunate as I show that I am now been in the category of the, the 2015 Visionary Volunteer Award. The award means that now that I have received this, I can vote for somebody else to be a visionary volunteer. And at the same time, I also am going to be involved in the process here in San Diego as a group of the people that have actually been awarded, we went through what we call our award ceremony, which was just last week. And last week, I, I was very fortunate to be given this award with 30 other people, such as other community leaders, such as uh, Bonnie Dumanis, who's a district attorney, Chris Kate, who is a council member here in San Diego, over the past year, I've been fortunate to stay involved with DOD FedGlobe and trying to promote it with different organizations. One of the cross-cultural um, organizations that we actually do things with here in San Diego, I work very large with is not just the LGBT community, but also the Filipino American community. It's part of the important concepts of being a successful board is making sure that we have both communities of our own personal community and other communities supporting our organization. And this is the type of groups of people that I've been very fortunate to be lumped together with, is to be a part of a larger recognized groups of individuals that have accomplished um, either extraordinary types of um, events by actually being publicly elected or for um, achieving an, an actual outstanding amount of community background, which I've been very fortunate to be a part of, such as I've been elected to the City Heights Town Council, the City Heights Redevelopment Agency, and just recently I've just stepped down as I was elected to the Encanto Planning Group for the City of San Diego. DOD FedGlobe, it's important for them to, as a organization and also for me as a member, as the treasurer, to do a lot of outreach to other organizations that will support DOD FedGlobe in the future. One of the things that we need to do even more so that I think is important that will be a part of that structure is that the Philippine organizations that we have supported is part of the Philippine American Celebration, which was done in Balboa Park recently. And that's where Jessica Sanchez, a former American Idol runner-up, was actually brought uh, to the um, brought to Balboa Park and done a live performance, which was very nice. And we were able to support that uh, on behalf of DOD FedGlobe and the other nine organizations that were also involved in the putting together of the entire Philippine American celebration. It's those types of examples of bridging the gap of both DOD Fed Globe and the Filipino American community or any other allied community that's willing to work with us on any scale. And to that end, now DOD Fed Globe is going to be recognized in a national organization called NAFA which is the National American Filipino Association, where DOD FedGlobe will be recognized for its efforts in the 2015 process on November the 15th of 2015. This is one of the first times that 
the DOD FedGlobe will be recognized nationally with an organization that is not um, also involved with just LGBT, but also a national representation of what DOD FedGlobe hopes to promote is diversity through both cultural, educational outreach that is based upon our goals and are hopefully even more so providing more people that are both all of the allies and all of the rainbow of the LGBT community. And once again, we are hoping to do a lot of outreach to everybody out there that to expand the DOD FedGlo board and to visit our website, which is first our main website, which is www.dodfedglobe.com. And then our other main site, what's our social site, which is our DOD FedGlobe dot ning dot com address and you can talk to me and socialize with me as well there on the social website and i'd love to hear more stories from other people that have also bridged that is joining the website it's free it's a process that it helps us know what other dod fed globe members are doing out there and it brings a lot more notoriety to our organization and to making sure that we're actually achieving the goals to doing outreach that A, reaches out to our members, makes them feel like they are doing something that has a diversity uh, feel for it, and also getting involved with something that for the first time, a social way to interact and know about different programs that we offer as a part of DOD FedGlobe. I'd like to at least make sure a shout out goes a big thank you to our executive director. Lisa Cove has relentlessly over many years worked with the um, process of making sure a lot of these projects are funded. We'd like to have more fundraising and people donate. We have the donation ability on our website. If you can also give money for the cause, Please feel free to at any time to donate whatever you can because a lot of these things are done through the generosity and the hard work of other people that we bring our monies into it. But we would like to get more people aware that we could use as many donations as possible and also looking for fundraising for anybody else that wants to do fundraising out there.